In today's video, I am going to show you how you can connect our Autobot trading signal to MT4. First, let's go to our Autobot signal.io, then log into your account. When you finish the login, then you can see your profile right here. Just click on your profile, then go to download page. Click on that. Now, when we are in the download page, let's scroll down. Let's download our latest version 2.0. So because I am using window, then I go into click on download auto button right here for window. Then wait for the process to finish. Okay, it's done. Just go to our folders. We can see our folder right here. So everyone, before you are using our Autobot, make sure that you unzip this file because the file that you are downloaded is the zip file. So you can't open our Autobot directly from zip file. So you must unzip it first. So let me unzip it by right click. I go to extract files. Just click on that one. Then I click on OK to extract all the folders in that file. Here we go. We got our Autobot signal version 2.0. Just double click to open. Then go to uh, Autobot signal again. Here is the software for window program. And for the Mac, you need it to run this one. Okay, so now let's go to our software for window. Just double click to open or you can right click and click on open. So let's wait for our software to open. So here we are, our Autobot signal version 2.0. And now let's go to our uh, brokers. Let's me connect with the Quotex right here, then click on get start. When I click on get started, then just click on the login. So wait for the process to to finish its uh, login. So don't have to do anything, just wait. So when it's complete, we can see our demo account right here with the balance. So here's the balance on our demo account and you can also switch it to real account right here. So in this case, I'm gonna stick with demo account. How to connect to MT4. So in order to connect to MT4, you need it to select private webhook right here. Just select onto that one. So before you select onto this one, make sure that you set your private key right here. You can just click on it, select your private key. It's a custom key. You can select uh, any number, one, two, three, or A, B, C. Now all this are working. And then just check on private webhook. So when you check on that, go back to our download folders and then go to Autobot signal MT4 right here. Just double click to open that folders. Now we got this two file right here. We have Autobot signal connector.ea4 right here. And then just go to our MT4. Just double click to open. So when the MT4 is open, then just go to our script right here. In this case, I already copy our script. So let me show you how to, uh, you know, take this script, take this uh, file and copy it into our script. So let me delete the exist one right here. Yes. So in order to copy it into your script here in your MT4, so let's go to your file then go to open data folder. So when you open that, go to your MQL4, then go to your script right here. So when you are here, just drag it aside. And now let's go to our download folders with the word Autobot signal, auto signal connector.ee.e.4. Just uh, right click, copy and then back to your MT4 folder, right click and paste it here. 
here. You paste it into your MT4 script. So let me close it. After you paste it there, you don't see it showing right away. So you need it to reopen it. Just close your MT4 and then reopen it again. Double click. When you reopen it again, then you can see auto signal connector is available here on your script. Okay. And then let me uh, show you uh, one of the, the indicator that I bought it in the online. So I'm, then I installed this indicator into our chart right here. For example, I go to your uh, Euro USD one minute chart and then I install these indicators. Okay, let me uh, delete this indicator first. Okay, let me delete that indicators and also delete moving average. So we don't have any indicator installed into the chart yet. And then let me go on to our indicators right here. Then I go to uh, the one, you know, uh, the indicator that I have boarded online. And then I want to install this indicator into the chart. Just right click and tax to the charts. Here you can add, you can setting any values, but make sure that you uh, enable uh, notifications. So let me go to notification. If notification is enabled, then you're good to go. Alert on, it's true, yeah. So just make sure that alert is, is on. And then you just click OK. So now you got an uh, indicator that you bought it online or you buy it somewhere online and then you install it here and they have their you know uh, alert you know uh, open up every time and make sure that you uh, have that alert on it and each indicator that you bought online they have different message on the alerts uh, some uh, indicator they use the word call and put some indicator they use the word bit and ask and maybe some indicator using different name like buy or sell so it's different now before we start our auto signal connectors let's go to our tool and then go to option in option you needed to check allow auto trading allow the dll import and also allow web request right here just check on this you know allow web request and here you needed to copy these two address into uh, your web request right here by click on add new and then just put these two address after you complete these two address then you can click ok okay for these two address you can copy it from the description below this videos and after you put this uh, two address then just click on ok then go to your auto signal connectors right click execute on the chart and here is the important uh, message right here so the call symbol right here uh, you know uh, some alert they will just use the word bit long buy you know it's different so here in my uh, uh, binary 5 alert here indicators they use the word call signal with the capital letter call with all capital letters so this is what i mean if your uh, indicator using this symbol for a call and then you just use this call signal right here the values call in a big you know in a capital letters and the puts the same they use the word put in a capital letter and for the filter for symbol filter symbol you start with you know the word that are the same in both call and put signals so in this alert message they bring the message binary 5 and then follow with the symbol of the currency and then the minute so with this start of binary 5 and then you can put this filter symbol as binary 5 you know, yeah, is uh, is a start message, and this start message will be the same in every every currency, every signal, call or put, and then signal key. Signal key is very important 
because this one is the connection to our Autobot. So if the you use if you use the word you know A B C right here, then go to your Autobot signal and set that A B C. And if you set it to one two three, and then go to your signal key and replace that with one two three. So make sure that the signal key number right here is exactly the same as the Autobot signal right here. So one, you have this uh, uh, private key and the signal key is the same, then just click OK. Then you will see this two uh, log folders appear. So this two log folder can't be closed, but uh, you can minimize it by uh, minimize the size of it and put it aside so that it will not cover you know the charts on your md4 okay this thing cannot be closed it will keep on uh, running as to uh, let you know that the script is working on to md4 so every time when the alert happen on our indicator then it will pick up that alert and send it to our uh, Autobot, then the Autobot will automate that signal onto any brokers of your choice. Yeah, so that's it for the videos today. Take care. Bye bye.